Okay, this is my laugh of the day. Ah, oh, <laughs> it's a fairly modern porcelain collectible doll. Um, what's her name? Mavis. 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 Wait till you see the price. Okay, this guy was kind of cool and interesting. I expected him to be heavy, but he was not. So always look for weight when you're looking at, especially like these African carved guys, because the real dense, heavy woods are the one that are valuable. This piece looked like Capodimonte, but it's marked Sassano or T. Sassano, which is a town in Italy. So either it's an unmarked, Capodimonte or it's a, a knockoff of Capodimonte made about the same time but for $14.99 it is definitely a pass. I'm trying to figure out what this thing was for. It's cool but no idea. Here's some more of those lacquer coasters. Again they can sell from five to twenty dollars depending on the shape and the motif and it's just they don't excite me. So I leave them. They might excite someone else. And same with baskets. Baskets do not excite me. So I generally just kind of scan the baskets and kind of look for anything that's unusual. But usually the baskets just stay right on the shelf. Imari. I love Imari. I love the colors of Imari. This is Chinese Imari, not Japanese Imari. Um, still can be good. Remember, Amari dates back to like the 1600s, so just gotta watch what you're looking for. But at those prices, yeah, they were, forget it. Okay, again, at the precious moments, even though this one had a, a turtle on it, it's still, they just, they sadly, just don't bring any money. I couldn't even find any sold comps. So there you go. I found another piece of my Coventry Daily Blessings. I love this. This Pick all these up, you guys. All the pieces sell. Pyrex. This is the green, the Verde green. Ugh, just for me, it's not worth shipping. Not worth shipping. This next piece is really interesting. It says ceramic, ceramics. It has ceramics hispania it's made in spain <laughs> um from what i could find only made between 1936 and 1946 so had this little guy not been chipped er uh, i would have picked it up i almost wish i had anyway because i really liked him probably would sell for 30 to 40 if not chipped this is royal ivory kpm in the chess chesley pattern Again, I'm just not a big dishes person, and these are probably very long tail, even though you could make some money on them. So they are staying right there on the shelf. Stay. Ah, oh, spot the uh, another Capitamonte Lennox knockoff thing. Screams dollar store. I was looking for interesting glasses. I really like these. They have an optic to them and they were hand enameled, but only three. Sets of threes are a tough sell. If there had been four or maybe even two, I'd have gone for them. And, and a single is definitely a no-go for me, unless it's like something spectacular. Remember, I'm looking for, I'm looking for $20 bills for profit. Same with the studio art pottery. Some of it can go for really good money. So you got to look at the, the, the quality of how it's made. How interesting is the piece? Put some of those together to decide whether or not to pick up a signed art pottery piece. 
These puzzled me. They look somewhat mid-century, but I truly believe they are modern, made to look like a vintage pattern. So they were a pass. These were really, really cool, and they had some weight to them. You can see those bases are, uh, I think they were, they were like painted. So, I mean, they were cool, but not signed or anything, so I left them. Thomas Kincaid, of course, mass marketed. So not gonna be much money there. Same with the very generic Starbucks mugs. Stay away from just the plain green mermaids, especially at four bucks to buy it. I always pick up Disney glasses or and mugs, um, but to spend four dollars, it needs to be really cool and. I don't know. This is kind of could go either way. I could not find any comps on that particular one. Corel, again, it's a dime a dozen out there. So you want to stay away from Corel mugs. I would have picked up these punch cups. Um, had they not been 10 bucks and red tagged. Again, end caps, usually done by color. Usually just, I don't even look at collector's plates, but um, wanted to show you this one because it reminds me of those stone Incole plates, but it wasn't, it was very lightweight. This is Norwegian Cruise Lines Tiki Mug, and this is a definite just stay far, far away from. Even at a dollar, there is no money to be made on this little guy. This, I wish I had gotten. It's still kind of a mystery piece to me. I couldn't find anything on it when I went and researched. I believe it is an EAPG napkin holder. Just not sure. And um, yep, that one should have come home with me. Okay, these things. Uh, were really cool and they're that Arabia made in Finland um, there's some really good comps on these but not uh, not at 10 bucks it, that just that just killed me just killed me um, and really it's the the blue and the black seem to be the desirable colors on these the brown and the yellow not so much not so much. Just not enough meat on the bone for me. Even though you could make some money. Remember, I'm looking for, for $20 bills in the profit margin. $9.99 originally. And they're selling it for $3.99. This, actually, these are where I almost picked these up. They have some weight to them. Made by Butterboat. You could just feel the quality in these. And looking at comps, this brand sells quite well. So this was a, would have been okay to pick up. This looked like a much older piece, but it did say microwave safe. Microwaves came out in the, help me out here, 80s? <laughs> Am I that old? I don't remember. Yeah. I see these, I think, in every single thrift store I go to. The turkey gravy boat. This is sandwich glass. 
Um, and some of these can sell for some decent money, but shipping these is an absolute bear. Uh, so that stays behind. more silver plate and this is actually a pretty nice piece but again 20 bucks yeah and this one they priced at 15 bucks so there's no money to be made there you don't want to tie up your money on something that's only going to sell for 30 you don't want to pay 20 for it Really cute vintage enamelware, uh, cookware, in really good condition. A lot of times these are really burnt on the inside, but again, they wanted ten and fifteen dollars. That one was fifteen because it had a lid, but the lid didn't even match. I think the lid went on the other one. <sighs> Crazy Goodwill. Loved this lizard. I loved him. He almost, almost made it into my cart until I found his boo-boo. He had a very, very boo-booed tail. Right there. I spotted the fish. I thought he was actually like a dish. He's plastic. Totally plastic. I'm still trying to think, hmm, what could I do with him? Because I liked him. And your buying's emotional. I usually don't spend a whole lot of time in the plastics aisle. I rarely, rarely find anything in the plastics. And today was no exception. Pretty bare, too. Just really surprised how bare the shelves are. Kind of crazy. I like these little um, clamshell, I guess I'd be like, you know, cocktail bowls, but plastic scratched up. The germaphobe in me said no. This green end cap was interesting. We've got the vintage oil lamp, probably vintage like 1970s, not like early 1900s. And these German glasses, you'll find a lot. They're just, you can make a little bit on them, but not a whole bunch. And this is a hard no. <laughs> these chip and dip sets, you can see just the set only sells for, you know, 10 to $15. And, that's only like one part of it. So yeah, that's a, that's a hard no. Common, common little green vase and they want five bucks, which is about market value on that. This is again, another studio art piece, very crudely made and very heavy. This clock is a knockoff of a Howard Miller clock that sells for about $75. This version of it still sells for 20 or 25, believe it or not. Okay, bought this for me. I just, I loved the colors. I loved everything about it. So, but I didn't love the frame. So I look over and I found this frame. Now this will be my first experiment with repurposing. So I bought this, I'm going to try and switch frames because it is the same size. So, you know, I paid eight for one and seven for the other. So for $15, I got one complete piece of art to put on my wall. I do believe someone turned in their percolating enamelware <laughs> corning coffee maker. I think they're corning. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of them. Yeah, they're corning. <sighs> yeah, they sell for some pretty decent money, but they're very, very heavy to ship as well. I love these little stone carved animals. This guy's ear was missing and for eight bucks, that would have been a no-go. I probably still would have picked him up if he had been under five. 
because they still sell. And these, uh, these pitcher and bowl sets, you don't even want to think about shipping those. Just not enough money in, especially one that modern. It's vintage, but it's modern vintage. <laughs> That's a term. These, they still make these. You can still get these at the store. Okay, this is my laugh of the day. Ah, oh, <laughs> it's a fairly modern porcelain collectible doll. Um, what's her name? Mavis. 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 Wait till you see the price. <laughs> okay, sorry. That's just had to laugh. So after I left the Goodwill, I walked next door. There's a, a, a Habitat for Humanity shop, which is, it's mostly furniture and like hardware goods. They have a few things that are like, you know, dishes and collectibles and that kind of thing. But what I was able to find was two very long cushions for my outdoor swing, which I have been looking, even at Walmart, they're like 60 bucks. I got two of them for 60 bucks. I'm very excited because it's almost time to start using the swing. Anyway, time to go pick up the kids and then uh, get home and edit some video so I can get this up and running. If you haven't done it already, hit the subscribe button and watch for my next videos. I will get back to daily here very soon. And with that, go be profitable and make it fun.